Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all of all ages, welcome to the Christmas Eve edition of NFL with Ella Pokaluk. Today, Ella will be talking about the NFL Week 15 recap. What's a recap? Well, she breaks down the games for you. She tells you who was the big winners, who were the big losers, and who got spies. All right, take it away, Ella. Ella, 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 Ella. Chargers and Raiders, they played December 17th, which is one week ago, by the way. They played last Thursday at 8.20 p.m. on Fox. But then, we were not expecting this, but the Chargers, Chargers beat the, the Raiders by a score of 30 to 27. Close game! Yeah, but we were not expecting this. We were not expecting it. So the Chargers have a record of... Five and nine. <laughs> and the Raiders have a record of seven and seven. I like your Christmas wrapping paper pointer. Very festive. Bills and Broncos. They played last Sunday at 4.30. Actually, last Saturday, sorry. Last Saturday at 4.30 p.m. on NFL Network. But then, oh, there's a spanking. Spank, the Bills, spank, spank, the Bills spank. have spanked the Broncos by a score of 48 to 19. So the Bills have a record of 11 and 3, and the Broncos have a record of 5 and 9, just like the Chargers. Spankity, spank, spank. Spankity, spank, spank. Boom. Panthers and Packers, oh, that one is not good. Ah! They played last Saturday at 15 p.m. on NFL Network. But then Green Bay defeated us, which we live in Carolina, by a score of 24 to 16. So the Panthers have a record of 4 and 10, and the Packers have a record of 11 and 3. 49ers and Cowboys, they played last Sunday at 1 p.m. on CBS. But then we were not expecting this. But Dallas beat San Francisco by a score of 41 to 33. So the 49ers, have a, 49ers and Cowboys both have a record of 5 and 9. Both have the same record. Oh, by the way, we have to show you guys Rexy, which is the regular cream. Here he is. Say hi, Rex. Hi. All right. Back to the action. Seahawks at Washington football team. They played last Sunday at 1 p.m. on Fox. But then, us, Seattle, defeated Washington by a score of 20 to 50. So the Seahawks have a record of 10 and 4, and Washington football team has a record of 6 and 8. Washington football team's on the rise, but not this week. Boom, boom, no, boom. No, 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 no. Bears at the Vikings. Oh, oh this no, one hurt, no. Nate. Oh, no. Anyways, they played last Sunday at 1 p.m. on Fox, but then Chicago defeated Minnesota. By a score of 33-27. to 27. So the Bears have a record of 7-7, seven and, seven, and the Vikings have a record of 6-8. and eight. Oh my goodness. Patriots at Dolphins. I'm not sure why my tummy's growling, but I'm not as <laughs> hungry. But it won't listen to me. Anyways, moving on. So we so Patriots at Dolphins, they played last Sunday at 1 p.m. on CBS. But then Patriots lost and they're always cheaters. So the Dolphins Cheater, defeated cheater them cheater. by a score of 22 to 12. So the Patriots have a record of six and eight like the Vikings. And the Dolphins have a record of 9 and 5 like the Ravens, I think. Probably. Love that game. Probably. Loved it! Oh, not this one, though. No. We, we knew this was going to happen, even though we didn't want the Ravens to win anyway. But anyways, Jaguars and Ravens, they played last Sunday and went on CBS. But then Baltimore spanked Jacksonville by a score of 40 to 14. So the Jaguars have a record of 1 and 13. And the Ravens have a record of 9-5. Buccaneers at Falcons. They played 
They play last Sunday at 1 p.m. on Fox. Sure. But then, Tampa Bay defeated Atlanta by a score of 31 to 27. So the Buccaneers have a record of 9 and 5, and the Falcons have a record of 4 and 10, just like the Panthers. Okay, be right there. Technical difficulties. I have to get Lily dressed. Oh, oh. Eat. Yeah. Oh, Okay, hang on, I'm coming. Look at this. <laughs> Lions and Titans. Oh, that's another spanking. But anyways, high score and another spanking. But anyways, they played last Sunday at 1 p.m. on CBS. But then, Tennessee Titans defeated Detroit Lions by a score of 46. Defeated... Or spank the Lions by a score of 46 to 25. So the Lions have a record of 5 and 9, and the Titans have a record of 10 and 4. Probably just like the Seahawks, I bet. Texans at Colts. They played last Sunday at 1 p.m. on CBS. But then, Indianapolis defeated Houston by a score of 27 to 20. So the Texans have a record of 4 and 10, just like the Falcons and the Panthers. And the Colts have 10 and 4, just like the Seahawks, I bet. Eagles at Cardinals. They played last Sunday at 4.05 p.m. on Fox. But then, Arizona Cardinals defeated. Defeated, locked, defeated the Eagles by a score of 33 to 26. So the Eagles have a record of 4, 9, and 1, and the Cardinals have a record of 8, 6, and no. I got you. Jets and Rams, we were not expecting this. But anyways, they played last Sunday at 4 Jets five, got five, their five, first five. win. On Fox. Yep, the Jets indeed did get their first win. They got their first win over the Rams by a score of 23 to 20. So the Jets have a record of 1 and 13, and the Rams have a record of 9 and 5. I gotta get up, Bill. One second, baby. <laughs> I gotta help Bella. I'll sit with you when this presentation's over. Chiefs at Saints. <laughs> they played last Sunday at 4.25 p.m. on CBS. But then, Kansas City Chiefs defeated the one in the Panthers division, which is good, mm -hmm. by a score of 32 to 29. So the Chiefs have a record of 13 and 1, and the Saints have a record of 10 and 4, just like the Seahawks. And I think the Titans have it as well. Browns at Giants, they, they played last Sunday at 8.20 p.m. on NBC. Oh, this is another spanking. But Cleveland spanked spanked New York by a school of 20 to 6. So the Browns have a record of 10 and 4, just like the Titans and the Seahawks, probably. And the Giants have a record of 5 and 9, probably just like the Chargers and the Broncos, by the way. And finally, Steelers at Bengals. They played last Monday at 8.15 p.m. on ESPN. But then, we were not expecting this in our first pick, but then we changed our pick to Bengals because we knew that they're going to win. And we were so glad we changed it. Steelers lost three in a row. Yep, the Steelers lost three in a row. Anyways, they played on ESPN. But anyways, Bengals defeated Steelers by a score of 27 to 17. So the Steelers have a record of 11, 3, and 0. And the Bengals have a record of 3, 10, and 1. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, thanks for tuning in to Ella Pokolux Week 15 Recap. Say, come back and see us really soon when Ella breaks down week 16 and lets you know who's playing who and when. All we can see is your belly. Oh, she's getting ready to hit me. <laughs> oh, bye.